overheating. I can't live like this. What in the actual heckin' frick? <gasps> this is not good. It's gonna be probably pretty costly. I'm tired of this shit. Okay, John, I love ya. What? Why the heck? Well, my dashboard lights on. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. Okay, so officially the alternator has just died. I was gonna try to drive home right now, but uh, yeah, I couldn't even roll my windows up because the battery and everything is just, yeah, it needs to be replaced. We're charging it right now, I'm charging it right now, and um, I bought a new rad and now I just have to buy a new alternator. So here's what's happening. My brother agreed and offered to do the work on this van for me um, because he's awesome. <laughs> so to do it at the shops is like 1200 bucks, which in the grand scheme of things really isn't that much money because let's remember that this van was free. This is the whole reason why I'm even doing this is this van is free. It drives well, other than the issues that it does have. Like it feels solid, feels secure. It feels like if we just take care of these issues, it should last a little while. And I like the van, it's not bad. And it was free. Did I say that already? It was free. So I have nothing, basically nothing into it. I bought a battery and I got an alignment done. And so I have pennies into this. Because of that, I thought, okay, 1200 bucks isn't that much money, but but the power steering situation still needs to be fixed and that could cost a lot of money. And so my brother knows how to do all of, all of this stuff. So he, um, he agreed to kind of save me the money so that just in case, like if the power steering does get really bad, then okay, I'll get the power steering fixed. But to replace the rad and the alternator, it really isn't that big of a deal. So um, I'm gonna help him as much as I can and we're just gonna do it ourselves. Save some money. Okay, it's fine. High blood pressure. No, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah, what's up? Yeah. I've already started. How's it looking? Looks partially easy, partially not. I don't think it's going to be very hard. The alternator looks like it might be pretty tight in there, but it'll be okay. <laughs> brother's doing the job. I feel like it's a one-man job. I've asked him if he needs me to help him, then I'm here with a hand ready to go. He nearly has the whole rat out and we've been here for like 30 minutes. So hopefully we don't catch anything or nothing goes wrong or there's like, I just, yeah, hopefully it's just, you know, in and out and um, yeah. So we're working on it. It's so rusted, how are we going to put that back on? Please don't rain. Oh, hey. that feels like junk. Yeah, it has a one year warranty. It feels like absolute junk. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. I could clean this up. We could reuse it. It's just the one tab that's completely falling off. Yeah. I just worry about all this. It looks terrible. Damaging the new rad. It might just wear a hole so rotted that it lost its um, attachment thing piece here. And so my dad's gonna weld together something so that we can keep it attached. We were just gonna attach it without it and just hope that it's okay, but God bless, my dad's gonna make it better. Okay, right there. Nice. It's in the same place. Okay. Like that. 
Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Grab that and bring it over to the welder, okay? Put it right on Shane's truck here. Oh. That's gotta be all lined up. You can film it, but you gotta close your eyes. <laughs> okay. Holy crap, the rain basically just came out of nowhere and I think it's gone, so we're gonna keep working. But if it comes back, then we kinda just gotta leave it as it is for now. So, check out the weld job that my dad did. This is much better. Looks good. All you have to do is put the belt underneath that tensioner. Okay. That roller. Okay. It? Yeah. Is it on the belt back there? Yep. <laughs> so now it's a matter of just putting everything back. Yeah, right? Can, we got the alternator in. The rad is ready to be put in. The thermostat, if you want to. No? <laughs> okay. It's fine. But it's raining again, so... Have another go at it. New battery, new fix the freaking problem. I hope so. Finishing touches. We're all back together. New alternator, new rad. Hopefully this is the this fix. Is We're gonna problem. change the spark plugs. I have a thermostat, but if, if, if I find that it still overheats, then we'll come back and do a thermostat or... It, it's not gonna overheat. <laughs> Fire it up. No dash lights. <laughs> yes. <gasps> Look at the rainbow! Oh no way! <laughs> it's a theme. It normally doesn't do that. Crowns are all on. Fans are plugged in. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. It was revving really high randomly in park before. Okay, so it's been about a week and a half or so since my brother did all the work on the van and everything seems good. Everything seems to be running normal. I'm not overheating. Nothing weird is happening. Um, although the power steering, I did put in a like stop leak fluid of sorts into the power steering to help with that leak because as it's been, I've been putting in like a jug of power steering fluid like every couple days. So that's not good. 
if it's the rack and pinion situation, like my mechanic said, it is an expensive job and I just, I don't want to do that right now. So, but since putting in that power steering stop leak fluid about a week ago, um, I haven't had to fill it up. So yeah, to kind of celebrate the fact that I'm driving again, um, I've got both dogs with me and I thought I would take you to my, my most favorite little waterfall spot in this town that I really, really like up north. And and yeah, I just, I think you guys are gonna like it. It's gonna be a really, really nice day. It's so beautiful out, it's hot, it's sunny. It's just perfect. So let's go to the waterfall, shall we?
I guess that's it for today. I didn't have much to say, so I hope that you liked the ambiance of it all. I was just really enjoying it. I'm glad I brought the van here. Um, like, this is the farthest I've come, an hour and 40 minutes with the van, um, like an hour and 40 straight to get here, and everything seems okay. I like this spot to try because the town is really, really close by. There's generally people here and I have full service. So it's just nice to know that like if anything were to happen, um, I have some options. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching and we'll see what we get up to next time. I will see you then.